Welcome back to part two of this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in the style of Julian Opie. I've drawn my line drawing and now it's a case of colouring it. So I'm going to turn the opacity back up on my original image and I'm going to get the eyedropper tool to colour drop and choose a nice light colour for my skin. Go to the layer that has my drawing on it and fill my face. I'm then going to zoom in so I can do my ears, those tiny little spaces, and then my mouth. And that's my skin color done, my face. Um, now I'm gonna do my t-shirt. I'm gonna, again, use a bit of creative license don't think grey is necessary when you can make it a nice bright blue. There you go. And I am a big fan of the colour pink. Nice baby pink. And I think it looks great with that blue. Okay, so that is the colour added to most of it. But now I need to worry about my beard. And as you can see, Julian Opie does this kind of three-tone effect on his hair. So, given that I haven't got any hair on the top of my head, I'm going to do it on my beard. First, I'm going to check I'm on the right layer. Then I'm going to grab the magic wand, and I'm going to fill that area with a mask. I'm then going to grab myself a new layer, make myself a new layer, and use the eyedropper tool to get a kind of middle tone into my color palette and then fill tool and fill that whole space with a kind of middle tone okay i'm then going to make a new layer and i'm going to click the little eye icon next to the layer that has the brown on it so i can still see the beard but i'm going to make sure i'm working on the new layer that i've just created and then i'm going to use the um I'll zoom in a bit of course and I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm going to go round. And again, it's completely up to you where you think. Areas that I see as being light. Okay, so the lighter areas. So I'm just going round that bit there. Because I see it as being lighter. And I'm going to colour drop a lighter colour from that area and then I'm going to fill that area there you go with that lighter colour and you can see when I bring that brown back that's what it looks like on the brown okay right I'm now going to go back to the polygonal lasso tool and choose another section of where I see a lighter area and fill that in. Quite a big area, this one. And then same again, paint bucket and fill. Okay. Right, and that's how you would continue, and obviously you would fill in all the other light areas. Um, and then once you've done that, you're then gonna do the darker areas. So you're gonna color drop a darker area of your hair, and you're going to polygonal mask off an area that would be darker. There we go. Oh, and before I fill it, I just need to make a new layer because you want your darker bits to be on a new layer too. So there you go, fill in that dark area. And the same as you did with the light bits, find darker areas and mask around them. Uh, you are absolutely fine to go into the black. As you see, I'm kind of over, I'm going over the black bits black lines, 
you're going to bring those back later so it's absolutely fine to be working over them okay but that is essentially how you put in the bits and pieces and now i'm gonna cut away and come back when i have finished doing the whole beard right you join me back now i have completely done the whole beard and you remember i said don't worry about the um black lines because we would bring those back well that is what we are going to do now okay so i'm going to make sure that i have um, selected the layer that has the black lines on it that one there okay and i'm going to go to the magic wand and i'm going to make sure i get every area of black if you click shift it will allow you to select multiple areas of black um, I'm not going to worry about the um, eyes, but the eyebrows are good to do. And once you've done that, Control C, Control V, and you get the lines on their own layer that you can then bring to the top. And it means you've covered all of those bits of your beard that overlapped. Okay. Um, last thing we want to do is double click on the layer and add a stroke to it. And that's gonna smoothen out the lines. We don't want it to be red, obviously. So change the color to black, click OK. And I would just go two pixels. I don't think it needs to be very big. It's just a little bit of smoothing out. Click OK. And you have completed your picture in the style of Julian Opie. And thus ends the second part of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful. Thanks.